First Signs of Diabetes – Understanding the Symptoms Diabetes is a serious health condition that affects millions of people around the world. It is caused by an inability to produce or properly use insulin, a hormone that helps regulate blood sugar levels. If left untreated, diabetes can lead to various complications, including heart disease, kidney failure and blindness. Recently, it was estimated that every 1 in 10 adults is diagnosed with diabetes, and out of those, every 1 out of 2 with diabetes goes undiagnosed. If you enjoy watching these videos, then subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that post notification bell so you never miss another video like this again. So what is insulin, and why is it so important to us? Insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas that plays a crucial role in regulating glucose levels in the body. Glucose is a type of sugar that is the body's main source of energy. Insulin helps control the level of glucose in the bloodstream by moving glucose from the bloodstream into the cells where it can be used for energy. This process helps prevent blood sugar levels from becoming too high. When we eat, our body converts the food into glucose that is then released into the bloodstream. Insulin is then released to help transport the glucose into the body's cells where it is used for energy. If there isn't enough insulin or the body doesn't respond to the insulin properly, glucose will build up in the bloodstream, leading to high blood sugar levels, also known as hypoglycemia, which can damage the body over time. Insulin also plays a role in the storage of glucose in the form of glycogen, which is stored in the liver and muscles. This glycogen can be broken down into glucose and released back into the bloodstream when the body needs more energy. Without insulin, the body cannot properly use glucose for energy, leading to the symptoms of diabetes. Insulin is a vital hormone for the human body, as it helps keep our blood sugar levels in a healthy range, which is essential for overall health and well-being. The first signs of diabetes can be subtle, but it is important to be aware of them so you get an early diagnosis and start your treatment. Some of the most common symptoms include frequent urination, excessive thirst, and extreme fatigue although other symptoms can include blurred vision, slow healing wounds and bruises, numbness or tingling in the hands and feet, or they're getting more infections than the usual person, hair thinning or hair loss. In fact, check out our video on best natural remedies for hair growth, thicker hair that actually works to help you grow your hair thicker and more luscious. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, it is important to see a healthcare professional right away. Diabetes is divided into two main types, type 1 and type 2. The first is type 1 diabetes, also known as juvenile diabetes, which is an autoimmune disorder in which the body's immune system attacks the pancreas and completely destroys the cells that produce the insulin. As a result, people with type 1 diabetes are unable to produce enough insulin to regulate their blood sugar levels. This is usually the type of diabetes diagnosed as a child or early in adulthood and requires constant management and daily injections of insulin. Type 2 diabetes, on the other hand, is the most common form of diabetes and is typically diagnosed in adulthood. It is made up by the body's incapability to properly utilize insulin, a condition known as insulin resistance. In type 2 diabetes, the pancreas may produce enough insulin, but the body's cells don't respond to it properly. This leads to a buildup of glucose in the bloodstream, resulting in high blood sugar levels. Then there is gestational diabetes which is a type of diabetes that can develop through pregnancy. It is a condition in which the woman's body is not able to produce enough insulin to regulate blood sugar levels, leading to high blood sugar levels. This type of diabetes typically occurs in the second half of pregnancy and affects around 3 to 5% of pregnant women worldwide. The exact cause of gestational diabetes is not known. It is believed to be related to the hormonal changes that occur during pregnancy. The placenta produces hormones that can make the cells of the mother resistant to insulin, making it harder for the body to regulate blood sugar levels. Gestational diabetes can increase the risk of certain pregnancy complications such as high blood pressure, preeclampsia, and large birth weight babies. It also increases the risk of the baby developing macrosomia, which is a condition where the baby is larger than average. After delivery, gestational diabetes usually resolves. However, Women who have had gestational diabetes have an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes later in life. Gestational diabetes is typically diagnosed through a glucose tolerance test, which measures blood sugar levels after a woman who has consumed glucose-rich drink. If the test results indicate gestational diabetes, 
the woman will be monitored closely throughout the pregnancy and her treatment will be tailored accordingly. A healthy diet and regular physical activity are recommended to help control blood sugar levels and to maintain a healthy weight. Medications may also be prescribed if needed. It is important for women who have had gestational diabetes to be monitored for diabetes after pregnancy as it increases their risk of developing type 2 diabetes later in life. Here are some of the most common risk factors for diabetes and they can include being overweight or obese, having a family history of the disease, having high blood pressure or high cholesterol, being over the age of 45, being physically inactive, and having a history of gestational diabetes during pregnancy. People of certain ethnicities, such as African Americans, Hispanics, and Native Americans, are also at a higher risk for developing diabetes. If you have any of these risk factors, it is important to take steps to reduce your risk of developing diabetes. This includes maintaining a healthy weight, exercising regularly, eating a healthy diet, and not smoking. There are ways to prevent diabetes and treat the disease once it has been diagnosed. One of the most important things you can do to avoid diabetes is to maintain a healthy weight. Being overweight or obese is a major risk factor for the disease. Eating a healthy diet is also crucial in preventing diabetes. This means eating a diet that is low in sugar, saturated fat and processed foods. Eating fruits, vegetables, whole grains and lean protein can help reduce their all risk of diabetes. Losing weight can help you avoid the risk of complications and positively affect your overall health. Regular exercise is also important in preventing diabetes. Aim for at least 30 minutes of modestly intense physical activity such as walking, cycling every day. Not smoking or using tobacco products can also reduce your risk of diabetes. Smoking is a major risk factor for a number of health conditions, including diabetes. If you've been diagnosed with diabetes, treatment will likely include a combination of medications, diet, and exercise. Your healthcare team will work with you to develop a plan that is tailored to your individual needs. Some of the most important things you can do to live a long, happy, and healthy life with diabetes could include 1. Maintaining a consistent blood sugar level through the regular monitor and management of medication. Checking your blood sugar levels regularly and using insulin or oral medications as needed can help keep your blood sugar levels in a healthy range. This can help prevent long-term complications of diabetes, such as damage to the eyes, kidneys, or nerves. Number two, eating a healthy diet that is low in sugar and refined carbohydrates. Eating a diet that is high in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins can help keep blood sugar levels stable and improve overall health. It is best to limit foods that are high in added sugars and refined carbohydrates, such as white bread, sugary drinks, and processed snacks. If you haven't already, check out our video for a list of foods and drinks to avoid if you're diabetic. Number three, getting regular physical activity to help improve insulin sensitivity and overall health. Exercise can also help lower blood sugar levels. Aiming to get in at least half an hour of moderately intense exercise, such as taking a walk, cycling, or swimming most days of the week. Number four, managing stress. Through techniques such as yoga, meditation, or therapy, stress can cause your blood sugar levels to spike. So it is important to find ways to manage stress in your life. Yoga, meditation, and therapy can all be effective ways to reduce stress and improve overall well-being. Number five, getting regular checkups with a healthcare provider to monitor diabetes, complications, and address any issues as they arise. Regular checkups with a healthcare provider can help you identify and address any complications of diabetes, such as high blood pressure or nerve damage. Number six, staying informed and educated about diabetes management and staying up to date with new treatments and technologies. Keeping informed about diabetes management can help you make informed decisions about your care. There are many resources available, such as books, websites, and support groups that can provide information and support for people with diabetes. Number seven, building a support system of family and friends and healthcare providers to provide encouragement and assistance in managing diabetes. Having a support system in place can make it easier to manage diabetes and improve overall well-being. Friends, family, and healthcare providers can provide encouragement and assistance in managing diabetes. 
Number eight, take good care of your feet, including regular checkups and taking steps to avoid injuries. People with diabetes are at increased risk of foot complications, such as neuropathy, nerve damage, and infection. It is important to take good care of your feet, including regular checkups with a podiatrist and taking steps to avoid injuries. Number nine, not smoking or drinking excessive alcohol, as these can be risk factors for diabetes complications. Smoking and excessive alcohol consumption can increase the risk of diabetes complications, such as heart disease and neuropathy. It is best to avoid smoking and limit the alcohol consumption to moderate levels. Number 10, consistently taking medications as prescribed and discussing any concerns with a healthcare provider. Taking medications as prescribed can help keep blood sugar levels in a healthy range and prevent complications. If you have any concerns about your medication, be sure to discuss them with your healthcare provider. Now remember, early diagnosis and treatment can help prevent severe complications from diabetes. If you are experiencing any of the symptoms of diabetes, don't wait to see a healthcare professional. With the right care and management, you can live a healthy and happy life with diabetes. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this.